Hey guys, my name's Chris Appleton and I'm gonna show you one of my favorite looks, the glass hair trend. I'm gonna break it down to you exactly what products I use, what technique you use, and how you get that rich, expensive, shiny looking hair. Okay guys, the fundamental part of this look and the most important step is this first one I'm gonna show you now. It's about prepping the hair with the right product. We're gonna be using the Colorwell Dream Coat. Now you guys know this is my favorite product. It's an amazing product that transforms the texture of your hair, keeps out humidity, and really does give you that mirror-like radiance that you know everyone wants from the glass hair trend. So we're making sure every strand of hair is saturated in the dream coat. The reason being is because the technology works making sure it coats every strand of hair. So you really can't use too much. It's not at all heavy or greasy. It won't weigh the hair down. It's pretty much as light as water, so you really can saturate the hair. And I tend to find the more you put on, the better. Okay guys, so this look really isn't reliant on the straightening irons and I think that's where a lot of people go wrong. It really is about getting the hair saturated in the product and really drying it into the hair because the hair should move, it should be glossy. I think glass hair has a very different finish to straight and ironed hair. Straight and ironed hair can look a little bit stiff and rigid and sometimes dry. This look, glass hair, is about free flowing, shiny, intensely glossy hair and that's all about using the right product and the right tools to dry the hair in. So we're gonna really smooth the cuticle. I'm gonna use the Color Wow Paddle Brush to really smooth down the cuticle. It has a great grip on the hair and it really complements the dream coat in terms of smoothing the cuticle down. Okay guys, so you can see now, just in that first section that we blow dry, this is exactly kind of what the hair should be doing. You should see that real mirror-like shine. So my top tip for anyone that has a lot of volume or they tend to get a lot of flyaways, and a lot of frizz, is to always hold the nozzle down and blow dry the cuticle flat. So we're not gonna blow dry the hair in this direction because that's gonna frizz the hair up, which I'll show you now. You see, you're gonna get all these flyaways. We're gonna go the opposite way and I'm gonna use the brush to create tension in the hair and blow that surface flat. What that's starting to do is close the cuticle down and that's what's gonna help create the shine. Okay guys, so we've blown the hair out and as you can see, you've got this really beautiful, healthy, glossy looking glass-like hair. So it is literally all about blow drying the product in the hair so you get that super intense, glossy shine which you can see here. The part for me which makes glass hair really cool and makes it look like that iconic glass hair is by adding the length at the front. Most girls kind of have these layers at the front or they'll have shorter sections where the hair is you know, kind of naturally a little bit shorter. So what I always like to do is just use a couple of hair extensions. So I'm gonna use these hair extensions from Glam Seamless. They're skin weft, so they sit super flat to the scalp. And I'm gonna literally clip in a couple of pieces just at the front, just to fill this section out. Can you see how that instantly transforms it into something that looks kind of fuller? So I go right underneath. And I always tend to take my section on a diagonal. If you just put your head down for me, as you can see it's on a slight diagonal, just so the hair falls forward and it doesn't just fall down. I'm gonna lock it in with the Colorwell Cult Favorite Hairspray. That literally just locks in the clip-ins so they're not gonna go anywhere. Then I'll clip this in here, in here, and it's kind of as simple as that. And then brush that through. And I actually really like the way the color just comes through there because it gives it that kind of really nice soft finish and literally just putting one extension in just kind of fills that front section out and gives it a little bit more of a fun kind of vibe. Another tip I like to do is just use the Colorwell Court Favorite Hairspray on a brush. So we're using our Colorwell brush, spraying the hairspray onto the bristles. What I like to do is just brush it all through and blend it all in so those extensions blend. This also helps to control any flyaways and keeps the hair super neat and together. Okay guys, as you can see, just adding those couple of extensions at the front really makes a big difference to the end look. So if you do have layers around the front, you just need a couple of clip-ins, don't make it complicated. And if you do want a little bit more blend, I always like to take the root cover up and just blend in the scalp. You see me use that a lot, just basically to make the extensions look more natural. But this color blends in perfectly. We've got that great shine. And you can see all the work really just came from the product. So make sure you saturate the hair, blow it in and bring back that sexy, healthy hair.